September. Early September, but it was cold. Like a day in November, except I wasn't prepared and my coat was in one of these bags. I'm alone, staring up at an old building. Number 199. It barely looks like it'll keep standing for the six months I'm going to be here. I breathe in. And it smells like roadworks and greasy takeaways. This is the first time I felt sort of unbalanced, unsure of what I've done. But I'm kind of loving it. I walk up the front steps and fumble for my new key. Warm air from inside the building greets me as the door opens. Who's this then? There isn't it. I'm Ruby. Your room's next to mine. And this is Tess. Better let me help you with those. Come on, Tess. Give her a hand. Cup of tea, anyone? Oh, you must be the new girl. Live, isn't it? Can you okay. keep the noise down so we must have worked late last night? And that's Amelia. She's a stripper. Dancer. Exotic dancer. I can't believe you got so much stuff. Have you seen the size of the room? Spider! What's this? Get it on, please do with the spider! How's it? Is it a nurse thing? Lovely. Thanks. And whoever left their ears swabs in the sink has no bloody sense of hygiene. You're gonna hate it here. Get out while you still can. If those pizzas manage to escape, you know where to bring them. You know she won't. What's the point in sharing with a pizza delivery driver if you don't get free pizza? And that was the start of my time with the residents of 55 on the 10th of November. It is currently 8 degrees C and overcast with the prospect of light rain. Oh, it was a great night. The weather? Oh, really sunny. And it snowed again last night. The people? Lovely, I couldn't have hoped for better. Hello? What? Oh, I'm on my way. No, don't worry, I'm not missing out on this. Hello? Oh, you're kidding! Are you sure? No, I checked and it said midday start today. No, I can't, I'm really sorry. I've got someone I need to see. Hello! I was just speaking to you. Um, is there any chance that I can rearrange it? Really? No, 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 it's fine, I'll be there. Hi, it's me again. Look, I'm really sorry, I've tried to rearrange and the... What? No, I can't change it, it's an appointment. Hello? Hello? Early one today, I'll see you later. Later. I'm sorry, I'm in a massive hurry. Enjoy your day. There wasn't any more pause, was there? Where's my magazine? Magazine? Why would I have seen your magazine? It's got Naomi Campbell on the cover. Ah, oh, does it? You. Have you seen it? Seen what? Her magazine. It's got Naomi Campbell on the cover. Did you check the post? It was there on the table and now it's gone. I don't have time to read your glamour around. I don't have anything else to do. Get a job. Where's she going? Bath. 
Have you seen my magazine? Look, clearly nobody's seen it, so stop blaming everyone and just buy a new magazine. Somebody knows where it is and I'm going to find out who. Shampoo. I bet you've taken it to work with you and laughed at that, haven't you? Me? Yeah, that's right. Blame the new girl when we all know this has been happening for months. I'm hardly new. I've been here since September. Yeah, we hardly see you. Because as soon as I get in, I've got to write in my portfolio. I have been on my feet all day serving coffee to ungrateful customers. I don't need this after work. Oh, it must be hard making a cappuccino while I've been wiping all men's asses all day. At least you two have been out the house. I've been sat here all day staring at these walls going mad. And no magazine to read. But that's your choice. Some of us need to earn a living. Oh, don't worry, you'll still be my money. And you inherited this place anyway. Rich aunt, wasn't it? You. Have you seen my magazine in between trying and coconut bras? I don't own a coconut bra. Well, you are a stripper, so what else have you been doing? I'm not a stripper, I'm a dancer. Exotic dancer. Again! Some of us might lounge around all day, but this is my one night off. So, little Miss Privilege, take your daddy's money and buy another magazine. And stop making a fuss so we can get on with what we need to do. Tonight of all nights, you bring pizza.
it's already December 23rd. Two more days to work before heading home for Christmas. And if that isn't people for Christmas tune, I don't know what it is. Season. 
just about got through the late summer hikers, but it was too much. All those arguments so I could go, and Mum was right. She said I wouldn't be able to cope. If I was offered the chance to go skiing in Switzerland, I wouldn't be packing it in. Let me guess, you couldn't cope with cleaning up after others? You think the same as my parents? That's exactly what she said. How are you going to cope, Beatrice? You've never cooked a meal in your life. Funny how parents think they know you better than you know yourself. She was wrong, actually, like you are. Looking after guests was the easy part. It was the other people in the resort. They just wanted to party all the time. It was a social life I was looking forward to. New friends, lots of freedom. But it just seemed so shallow, so relentless, and the more I didn't join in, the more I felt left out. I had to leave. But I couldn't face telling my parents I'd failed, so I haven't. Guess I'll just hang on until university starts next year and hope they don't find out. That's just like my parents. They thought they knew what I wanted and sent me off to do a degree in business. Don't worry, you can decide on your job afterwards. And you went? I lasted a month. Looking back, I think I only left because I wanted to prove that it was my life and I didn't need their control. So what did you do? Applied for drama school. They'd never let me do that. Happy to pay for ballet lessons and singing. Happy for me to do the grades that can show off how talented I was. But not happy for me to try it as a career. Perhaps they were right. I didn't get in the first year, or the second, or the third, but I will. So, in the meantime, I make a living dancing on a podium to set the club alight. <laughs> the irony, all that money they spent on dance lessons and now that's all I can do. So your parents really don't know? Black sheep of the family, me. Persona non grata. It's bad enough I dropped out of the, of the degree, but they think I'm temping. I used to go back, but the looks, the lectures, the total disappointment that they don't even try to hide. I can't bear it. So it's easier not to bother. Imagine if they knew what I was really doing. I don't know. Perhaps if I actually get into drama school and actually make some money, they might change. And if I was famous, they'll certainly bask in the success of their wonderful daughter. But just for now, I'll stay away. Sorry I called you a stripper. Sorry I took your magazine and called you privileged. That's settled then. What? Well, I was planning on a pot noodle and a salt for Christmas dinner, but I'm sure if we get going now, we'll be able to find a tiny turkey for two. You coming? Yeah, tiny turkey for two. It's looking like it's going to be the worst January on record since 2010. With heavy snow sweeping across the UK, the Met Office is warned of treacherous driving conditions. You're home early. How was work? Yeah, fine. Just another day. Well, tell me all the gossip. It'll be the highlight of my Saturday. What? What happens? Bad day? Spilled coffee on a grumpy child. A nini grill on fire. But you weren't fired. I guess it was just one thing too many. I try, Liv. I really try. I just can't believe this is happening now. Another bloody failure. Come on, Ruby, it's not like that. It is. When I first moved down here, it was so great. That job in the solicitor's firm was special. 
it offered real opportunities and the people who I worked with were really good. Ambitious like me, but fun too. My great aunt died and left this house to my mum, who gave it to me. Five of us moved in, all young, all trying to get on. And then they drifted away. Boyfriends, promotions, unplanned babies. The solicitor's firm got taken over and I didn't get kept on. That's why I ended up at the coffee shop. But I liked it. Nice staff, regular customers coming in and with the rent money from this place, I had enough to do whatever I wanted. Just makes you wonder how things might have been different. Anyway, the people that have been through here have been lovely. They've become proper friends. Because of you, Ruby, make it like that. Welcoming. A good place to be. But now it's all gone wrong. Without a job. But you'll get another job. And like you say, with the rent money, you'll get by for now. And I was actually wondering. You didn't just come here for the training. You came here to get away. My ex-boyfriend ended up with my ex-best friend and I couldn't bear to see it. So, you're not the only one wondering about things being different. When I arrived here, I felt unbalanced, unsure. I didn't know what I was doing, but being here with you and the others, it's been right what I needed. So, I was just wondering if maybe you could extend the lease. Live. Don't you know why I was looking to give out a six month lease? We're all going to be out of here soon. They're developing the road, widening it. This place is going to be demolished. What? But they can't. They can. That's part of why I was fired. I've been taking mornings off to see solicitors. <laughs> if only I still worked for one. When it was obvious there was nothing to be done, I've been seeing estate agents trying to find a place for the five of us, but it just hasn't happened. They advertise a place for five, and then there's three bedrooms and a tiny kitchen. How would that work? Or oh, they want thousands before they even let you look at the place. None of us have money like that. It's crazy. What are you gonna do? What are the others gonna do? I don't know. I haven't had the courage to tell them because they all seem so busy dealing with their own things. But I feel so responsible. I should have found them a place to live. And now I've only left them with a single month to find a place to live. A month? They'll never do it. How am I going to tell them? We'll do it. Tonight. Together. It's not your fault, Ruby. Thanks. Stop the demolition. I know, but I should have said Ruby, something. you can't blame yourself. Yes, I know, but if I could have told Ruby, you, it's, it's not your fault. fault. And anyway, I needed to go home, face up to what happened. I'm experiencing Hirif. What? Hirif. It's Welsh. A sense of longing. Needed home. I think we've all sort of had that fulfilled here. But we'll find again. We're lucky those two are working it off. Two spare rooms in a big house. House full of strippers. Lucky me. <laughs> and I suppose it's time I went home to my family. Some sort of calling there, just not sure what it is. And you, Ruby, did your plan come together? Not quite. <laughs> but when the compensation comes through from this place, 
I have enough for a tiny flat for myself. Sofa surfing for a bit though. We're all right. It's just time to move on. Yeah. Time to move on. To moving on. To moving, to moving on. on. <laughs> packed. Our lives poured into boxes and hanging out of suitcases. The final rush round to sweep up our memories. After our final night we couldn't bear to say goodbye and all agreed on silence. So we smile and we nod and we try to keep it together. But it's hard. I feel like I've been here forever and yet I've only known these people six months. Forced together. Obliged to get on thriving on company. As each comes to their final moment, they leave their keys on the table and go. I give Ruby a hug and walk down the front steps for the last time. I turn and see the blue peel and paint of the door and that unbalanced feeling is gone. This is it, my last day at number 199. 